everyone, I'm Allie. And I'm Sarah. And today we're visiting Arts Worcester on Main Street. It's a super cool place where you can get your art exhibited and it has awesome staff and really cool connections in the area. So watch us check it out. Julia Feibel. I am the executive director of Arts Worcester. I have been in this role for six years, but the organization is almost 40 years old. Um, it was founded in the 1970s as part of a cooperative movement of artists and it has morphed and changed and evolved and grown over the decades. Uh, we've been operating always out of the city of Worcester um, in the heart of downtown in one place or another. And in the classic sense of an old cooperative, we're a membership organization in that artists need to be a member to exhibit here, but anyone can be a member. Uh, there is a relatively token membership fee, but if that's a problem, we can make that go away. We firmly believe here that the experience of being an artist and trying it and growing through that experience should be open to everybody. Um, and on that same token, um, our gallery hours and our artist receptions are always open and free to the public. So when we talk about the artists who show work here, uh, there are, this past year, we showed about 310 individual artists. Those artists are at all stages of their careers. They are straight out of undergraduate. They are perhaps students at the Worcester Art Museum or the Craft Center or another institution learning art and ready to take that next step. And that next step is to show your work publicly. Our membership also includes artists that are at the mid-career point, people that are gaining solo exhibition credentials, making sub substantive sales. Um, they are moving they are moving along a trajectory and established senior artists that live in the city and consider Arts Worcester their hometown art gallery. So we work with this incredibly diverse body of artists and they bring us incredibly diverse work. Um, our, the Aurora Gallery is our showcase at the moment. It is the venue in which we host eight major exhibitions a year and some of those rotations include multiple solo shows. Some of them are all membership, all group shows. Um, it is a very vibrant place during an opening. Uh, we will get regularly four to five hundred people in here to see the work of these regional artists. Our emphasis, in addition to the exhibition programs, the way we work as a nonprofit is to advance the careers of artists. Everything we do is designed to give artists the professional experience and the professional markers they need to advance. It's lovely if you want to show your work to your friends and family. If you want to be able to move it beyond that and show it to other people, we teach you how. So that ranges from helping artists understand that you have to meet a deadline, that you have to adhere to exhibition standards, that you have to respond to the call, that you actually have to drop your work off in time, um, to talking to our workshops that we run for artists on subjects like how to write an artist statement or how to use social media to promote yourself as an artist. We are beginning to move into subjects like approaching gallerists and having portfolio reviews for the really serious, uh, more advanced artists in our membership. We also believe strongly that artists should be recognized and rewarded for their work. Um, when you make a sale here at Arts Worcester, we keep only 40%. Industry standard is 50, but we, we like to be small and, and poor as a nonprofit, but we, <laughs> we, but we want to make sure the artist is always rewarded. Along those lines, we offer prizes. So for our member exhibitions, and we have one major prize we give a year, those prizes come with cash, anywhere from $100 to $1,000. Uh, and the important markers that anyone will understand, if you receive this prize at this organization, that's gonna translate for a curator. That's going to translate to a gallerist, it's going to translate to a collector. Um, and we want our artists to progress. We want, we want them to use Arts Worcester as an incubator um, and, and to launch their careers with us and to show with us. The most important thing, things I want to always communicate to people about Arts Worcester is that art galleries are not and should never be intimidating places. And we constantly work towards having all of our activities and our programs and our exhibitions feel as welcoming and accessible. So that goes from how we publicize an exhibit, how we talk about the art in that exhibit, to simply how we greet a visitor. 
um, that somebody comes in off the street and they're not always sure they belong there and it's our job to make it clear to them that they are supposed to be here and to help them feel comfortable in our space. For artists, you know, that's a, it's a funny question for artists because we aim to be the credentialing organization that, that, that if you are serious and you watch a show, this is one of the places that you show. Artists have their own environments, right? They have their own group of friends, they have their own studio spaces, they have their own ecospheres in which they work. And one of the things we're always trying to communicate is that it doesn't matter where you show, where you play, we're open to everybody and we will work with everybody. Why does Worcester deserve nice things? I love the way that question is phrased because the idea of deserving is so interesting. I'm not from Worcester. I've lived here 10 years um, and I've never quite understood the chip on the shoulder that Worcester has about itself in the sense that, it, that maybe there's somebody arguing that Worcester doesn't like nice things. Um, for me, Worcester is a quirky city and it's a city of really unique hidden treasures and it's a city of mom and pop businesses. And I feel strongly that our artists are that always that nice thing, um, but it's a city that has consistently supported and rewarded the unusual and the oddball and the strange and the unusual and the unconventional and the innovative and in that way it gives itself its nice things always.